Black Magic design has just saved you and me a lot of time. Do you need a hyper zoom effect on this clip? Well, in the past, you had to create it clip by clip. But now, create it once and then save it and then simply just drag and drop it onto my next project. And there I have it. Let's see how to do this in Resolve. So Blackmagic Design has really done it with version 16 of DaVinci Resolve. First with uh, version 16, they brought in the adjustment clip, which is extremely valuable and helpful. And now with version 16.1, which is currently in beta, they give you the ability to copy those adjustment clips in between projects or to store it somewhere where it can be accessed across multiple projects. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you want to do is go into View and select show power bins it's not on by default um, and in here you can come in and right click and add a bin so I've already got one called EFX so what I want to do now is save an adjustment layer for a couple of effects so this one's just a dynamic zoom dolly zoom where the background is actually coming in while the foreground is backing out okay so Typically, you'd come in and just go into your inspector and adjust uh, dynamic zoom. So no big deal, right? Well, in this case, I'm actually going to copy this effect. So I'm going to bring in an adjustment clip here. I'm going to actually extend it to the length of the, the, um, the effect here. And I'm going to basically mimic exactly what I have for the, the, the main clip. So I've got ease out, and I've got it right here in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to select the adjustment clip, dynamic zoom, open it up. Um, first, I'm going to shrink it up here, bring it down a little bit, right about there. And I'm going to swap it and then ease out. All right, so that's uh, basically the effect that we have here, very close. So how can I verify that it's in fact working? I'm going to select the main clip. I'm just going to turn off dynamic zoom. I'm going to turn this off, and then when I scroll through that, you can see that the effect is just like it did it looked before. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over to my EFX power bin, and then I'm going to come in here and rename it. So I'm going to double click there, I'm going to call it D Zoom uh, Background Out. Actually, this is background in. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this other clip, which is basically taking the background and pushing it out as the foreground uh, gets closer. All right. So I'm going to basically, it's basically the opposite. So I'm going to come in here and look at this. And I'm just going to bring another adjustment clip in right there. need to bring this in and it's just linear so we'll leave it right there so now when I drag it over here I'm going to rename this okay so let's say I'm going to create a new project all right I'm just going to call it test one So now let's go in and get some media. I'm going to come in here. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's pick this one there. All right. Don't change. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a portion of this, this clip, drag it to my timeline. Now I want to go into my bin. So I'm going to take the dynamic zoom background in. I'm going to drag it here. I'm going to expand this. Now let's see what it does. Okay, so that's the effect just like we saw uh, before. So it's that easy. That's all you have to do. Now, what I really like about this is now I can go back to all of my old uh, videos and basically save all the effects as adjustment layers into my power bin. So here's a good example of that. I had the, uh, the hyper zoom um, going through the streets of 
of Puerto Rico where there's that um, that zoom blur so I'm going to come in here and do the exact same thing where I bring an adjustment clip in. I'm just going to make it short just enough so that I can uh, line it up with this clip here. I'm going to go into color. And here's the main clip here. Here's my adjustment clip. I'm just going to middle click to copy it, all the properties. And then I'm just going to delete these first two nodes, which actually are not related to um, the effect at all and there I have it I have the effect with the with the power window masking out the center portion and then I've got the zoom blur uh, on the outside and all I have to do now is go back to edit I'm gonna save this or I'm gonna copy this over here to the power bin drag it over here now I'm gonna rename this as hyper zoom Blur. All right, now all I have to do is just apply this to, to my clips in the future when I have a hyper zoom going through the streets, and I'm good to go. So, this is just a huge productivity saver that Blackmagic Design has put into um, DaVinci Resolve in the latest version of 16.1, and I'm really happy for it. So, if you've got any questions, uh, leave those in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.